Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do a quick, in quotations, um, paint mixing video. Today's paint mixing video will be purple. I'm not going to subject you to thousands of colors of paint, we're just going to do one. And so I don't have purple paint. Sorry, there's paint everywhere right now. Um, I pre, I have to mix my own purple paint. And so that is what we're gonna do here. Um, I have no m solid method to this process. It's literally just mix blue and red together. <laughs> Let's try not to like break stuff in the process. Um, we've got the flow trawl here. I plan to mix up some more tonight, so I went ahead and um, used the strainer to strain it out. Um, get any lump out of it um, and then we just mix like normal um, red can be temperamental I have learned and a little bit of red goes a long way when it comes to that so like the orange that I had mixed I really don't like this color that's why there's still paint in the bottle um, because I just got it way too red and it, it was just taking too much yellow paint to try to like I would end up with a ton had I like got it to the right consistency by adding as much yellow paint as it needed so I always start off with less red than I think I need because I can always add more to make it more of whatever color I need um, but I've just learned um, additionally I have this really cool um, like a navy blue which is almost what this is going to turn out to be so I might save it and then try this purple again so clearly there wasn't enough red in here since we didn't get purple um but we got this really cool dark navy blue that i love so all is not lost here <laughs> i try to mix as much as my arm will allow <laughs> and then we'll add some water strain it actually i'll do all of that off camera you guys know the process and i'll do it on the purple so we got this really cool dark blue, not purple. So we're gonna go for it again. And um, if I didn't like this blue, like let's say for example, it just wasn't what I was going for, I didn't need it, I already had a bottle full of blue, I would just fix it. <laughs> but since I need it, there's no point in trying to recreate it again. Um, I do add the flow trail in with the paint I'm mixing because it just makes it easier since these are so heavy, like the paints are so heavy, they're, they're thick, they're not runny. So it'd be more difficult to try to mix that color without the flow trawl. So for ease of doing business, add the flow trawl. So stir, stir, stir. This looks like cotton candy. <laughs> now we have purple. Actually, we have like different color, but clearly our blue is still at the bottom. So it might turn purple once we get it all mixed together. Getting a little sloppy. Arm already hurts and I've only done two cups. <laughs> This is pretty. It's pretty true to color on camera. Love it. Love, love, love it. It will need some water, which means I might have to, I'll strain it and then add the water into the bottle, just because there's not a lot of room left in this cup to try to add water and stir it in at the same time. So we will go ahead and strain it so you can see that part of the process. I'm working with limited space because there's so many um, bottles of paint that need to be mixed. Getting the set up here. Sorry for the delay. This stack of cups is just to balance it because I don't have three hands. <laughs> That's why we have that. So now I just pour what's in this cup into this cup. Clearly it will all fit because they're the same size cups. And I didn't add the water in it yet. 
so it's not that blow trial didn't get mixed in but once I pour it into the bottle I'll shake it and it'll mix it together so it won't be bad oh, clearly I didn't mix that very well at all but it's okay I got perfect color though so I'm not disappointed Try to scrape all of it out. Don't want to waste any. And you can see the chunks. This is the purpose of this step is to stop all of these chunks from getting into the paint. Still dripping. So we'll let it drip into the cup, but all of that is all chunks of paint. So that's the reason for that. Uh, we're gonna need this stick here in a minute to clean this off. I'll show you what I do. I put a baby wipe down. I take a baby wipe and put it on top. This one might need extra because there's so much paint and goop in this one. But theoretically, what's sinking through lands on this baby wipe. What's still on the top, the top baby wipe picks up. And that's how we clean it. I was silly and scraped that stick on the side, which I normally don't do <laughs> because then you have to clean that part off too. So yeah, get those out of the way and then we'll get a bottle. This is light purple, so that's not light purple, so we won't put it in there. I think I have two purples, two dark purples. One might be a... Um, metallic actually because I think during Halloween I had some metallic purple this is why you label your bottles guys I don't I should all right we're gonna go with this bottle <coughs> and then just because sometimes I'm messy I put this cup under it just in case I drip a whole lot then I can just restrain it and not waste it. Now, once again, I didn't put water in this yet because the cup was really, really full and I didn't want to. So once this is in here, I'll add a little bit of water and then shake it. all the paint and then just repeat this a thousand times until you get all your colors mixed <laughs> Add a little bit of water. Um, here's another tip. Sometimes your bottles get like paint build up. There we go paint build up so you can take a stick I just use my fingernails and try to scrape it off just so you get a better seal on your paint bottle um, the lid will also get the same build up inside the lid there we go like in here this one's not bad and then the other thing I sometimes do depending on what it all looks like is I'll take the same baby wipe here and just like around the inside lip of this sometimes it gets pretty goopy I think it's just from like 
whenever you pour it, like into, let's say you're mixing a dirty cup, and then you seal the, you put your lid back on it. Um, if it doesn't all drip down, then it just kind of like sits there and dries at the top. And so sometimes that gets goopy, and I'm afraid like that might cause chunks in the paint when like the next time you go to pour it's like peeling it off as it pours into your paint so uh, I do that occasionally as well so ta-da we've got a purple mixed I will um fix up that dark navy blue that we accidentally made that looked pretty cool don't think it's as dark as the first one but it's still really nice so well, I don't think it's that far off uh, so yeah, we'll get this one done in, in its bottle and then we'll get some, some painting going and continue with this process here. If you have any colors that you specifically want to mix or want to see mixed or um, have any questions about how I mix my paints, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.